This is the weekly pre replication for week six of the course Quantitative Analysis, Applied Inferential Statistics. This week we're discussing the standard error, and these two questions introduce the logic of thinking about error systematically. The first part of question one asks us to find the expected value of 100 draws made from the cards in the box shown here. The expected value is really the sum of all these cards. We begin by finding the mean of our set of cards, the average value of the cards in the box. As we have done all semester, we define the mean as the sum of the values divided by the number of values in the box. So we sum up the values of these cards, and divide them by 7. The values in the numerator sum to 28, and when we divide that by 7, we get a mean value of 4. We'll write this on the right side of our pad so we can reference it later. Now we need to find the standard deviation. We'll write each of our x values out in a column, again, the same way we've done this exercise all semester. In the next column, we'll calculate the deviance for each observation, the value of x minus the x-bar value we wrote on the right side of our pad. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3, and so on. We get negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 for deviance values. Recall that these will always sum to 0, so we need to square them negative 3 squared is 9, and so on. We get 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, and 9. The standard deviation is going to be the population standard deviation. We take the sum of our deviance values squared and divide them by the number of cards in the box. So we'll add those deviance values up and we get 28. 28 is divided by 7, which gives us 4. Finally, the square root of 4 is 2. This is our standard deviation, and we'll write it on the right side of the pad. So to answer A, our expected value or sum will be the number of draws, 100, times the average value of each draw, 4, the product, will be 400. To get the standard error, we take the square root of the number of draws and multiply it by the standard deviation. So the square root of 100 times 2, the square root of 100 is 10, and the product of 10 and 2 is 20. Part B asks you to put these values in a plain English context. The sum of 100 random draws from this box will be around 400, give or take 20 or so. We expect to be off a little bit, and the standard error suggests the sum of any one set of 100 draws will be between 380 and 420. Part C asks for the same information another way. If we were to guess what the sum would be on any one set of 100 draws, we would want to guess 400. And again, we would expect our guess to be just slightly off by about 20, our standard error. Question two asks about a wager where you win a dollar for a coin flip that results in heads and you lose a dollar for a coin flip that results in tails. We can think of this similarly to the last question. We have two outcomes in a metaphorical box, negative one and one. The average of these outcomes is 0, and they have a standard deviation of 1. Our net gain is the expected sum, which is going to be 100 flips of the coin times the mean of 0. So we would expect to break even on average because 100 times 0 is 0. The standard error will be the square root of 100 times the standard deviation of 1 or just the square root of 100, which is 10. So we would expect the wins or losses of any one set of 100 coin flips to be within $10 of zero. So somewhere between a loss of $10 and a gain of $10.